Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about clip-flop conversion in digital logic design course or our switching theory and logic design course. It is one of the most important concept in these courses. Before going to this video, first of all, what is clip-flop conversion? Clip-flop conversion is nothing but converting one type of clip-flop to another type of clip-flop. To convert one type of clip-flop to another type of clip-flop, we have to follow five steps. The first step is identify the required clip-flop and available clip-flop. Second point is Construct the characteristic table for the required flip-flop. Third step is construct the excitation table for available flip-flop. Fourth step is find out the Boolean expressions for the available flip-flop. And fifth step is draw the circuit diagram. So these are the five steps we have to follow to convert one flip-flop to another flip-flop. Now we can go for one example. Convert RS flip-flop to JK flip-flop. So this is our problem statement. In this one, the first step is to convert RS flip-flop to JK flip-flop. We have to follow the following steps. The first step is Identify the required flip-flop and available flip-flop. So among these two flip-flops, the required flip-flop is JK flip-flop and the available flip-flop is RS flip-flop. Okay, so this is the first step. Next, the second step is construct the characteristic table for the required flip-flop. Here the required flip-flop is JK flip-flop so that we have to construct the characteristic table for JK flip-flop. In the characteristic table of JK flip-flop, we are taking three inputs. First one is J and second one is K and third one is Q of T. Q of T is nothing but previous output that can also be called as present state. Next, one output, that output is called as Q of T plus 1. Q of T plus 1 can also be called as next state. So, these are the inputs and outputs of JK flip-flop. So, how many number of inputs are there? Three inputs are there. With the three inputs, how many number of possible input combinations? Eight possible input combinations that are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So these are the eight possible input combinations. Okay, for each and every possible input combinations, we have to find out the next state. Okay, whenever J value equal to zero, K value equal to zero, whatever the previous output is there, that previous output can be obtained as the present output. The present output is Q of T plus one, previous output is Q of T. So here J value 0, K value 0, whatever the previous output is there, the previous output can be obtained as the present output. In this case also, the previous output is 1, the present output is also 1. Next one, whenever J value 0 and K value 1, so the next state that is a present output value becomes 0. Here also, J value 0, K value 1, 
So the present state or a present output of the flip flop is zero. Next one, j value one, k value zero. The present output is nothing but one. Here also j value one, k value zero. The present output of the flip flop is a one. Next one, j value one, k value one. Whatever the previous output is there, the previous output is complemented. That value can be obtained as the present output. Here the previous output value zero it is complemented to one. Next one here j value one, k value one. The previous output value is one. Then it can be complemented to zero. So this is the characteristic table of JK flip flop. So, if anybody wants clear explanation of characteristic table of JK flip flop, please refer the previous videos. Okay. Next one, the third step is construct the excitation table of uh, SR flip flop. So, that is the available flip flop. The available flip flop is so RS flip flop. So that so find out construct the excitation table of rs or sr flip flop okay in the excitation table of sr flip flop or our rs flip flop we can take two inputs that the two inputs are q of t and q of t plus 1 so what is q of t here so that is a previous output what is q of t plus 1? That is the present output. So previous output and present output. That can also be called as present state and the next state. These two can be taken as in inputs. And what are the outputs? Yes and R are the outputs. Okay. How many number of inputs are there? Two inputs are there. With the two inputs, how many number of possible input combinations? Four possible input combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So these are the four input combinations. Whenever Q of T value 0 and Q of T plus 1 value is 0. So then what is the S value and what is R value? S value 0, R value is don't care. Next, Q of T value 0 and Q of T plus 1 value 1. So then, S value 1 and R value 0. Next, Q of T value 1 and Q of T plus 1 value is 0. So then, S value 0 and R value 1. Next one, Q of T value 1 and Q of T plus 1 value 1. So then, S value don't care. R value is 0. So this is the excitation table of SR flip flop or RS flip flop. The, when, if anybody wants clear explanation of excitation table of SR flip flop, please refer the previous videos. Okay. So this is the first step, second step and third step is completed. After that, go for the fourth step. Find out the Boolean expression for the available flip flop. Here, available flip flop is RS flip flop. So then, we have to find out the Boolean expression for yes and R. Okay. So. Getting five steps. Whatever the resultant diagram, circuit diagram we are getting, this is a RS over our SR flip flop to JK flip flop conversion. So, thank you. Thank you, one and all, for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divella Srinivasa Rao. Thank you. Thank you one and all.